What's going on guys and welcome back to The Rift. My name is Terrence. With EA Sports UFC 4 on the horizon, every casual and hardcore MMA fan is rushing to give their tips, their thoughts, their analysis, and of course, their constructive critiques on the new game. But in the echo chamber of noise and feedback, there's one thing that's been on my mind. Madden. Not necessarily the Madden experience or the variety of game modes and AI sim gameplay just enough to tide you over to the next year. No, I mean the mode that brought me back to Madden only a few years ago. The mode that made even the most casual Madden fan give EA a level of applause that would shame even Jason Garrett. That mode is long shot. Let's add some context. Longshot was Madden 18 story mode written by EA Sports creative director Mike Young. Longshot told the story of Devin Wade, a successful high school football player who managed to acquire a roster spot with the University of Texas football program. Unfortunately, after only a few collegiate games, he's forced to return back home when he learns of his father's tragic passing due to a car accident. And that's just how the story begins. In the following year's Madden 19 title, Longshot would receive a sequel storyline that tied up loose ends and brought closure to the unlikely cast of characters we came to quickly love. But why am I talking about Madden Longshot in a UFC 4 video? Well, because I think a UFC story mode is long overdue. And while I understand a lot of people have their own quarrels and issues with EA for their handling of several things, I still hold out an optimistic hope, and that is mainly due in part to Madden's long shot story mode. In a lot of ways, a UFC story mode could write itself. Career mode already exists as the bare bones of said story mode. All that's left is piecing together a uniquely engaging story that breathes life into the original characters. In fact, EA has already done this in the past with Fight Night Champion Story Mode. Hell, Isaac Frost and Andre Bishop, the main characters of Fight Night Champion Story, are included as DLC and UFC 3. Bars. The more I thought about it, the more I realized an original story isn't even necessary. So many fighters in the UFC have incredible stories on how they got from their youth or their childhood or hard times into the position they're in currently in the UFC. And all of those stories are easily adaptable into in-game stories. Take Michael Chiesa, for example. He went undefeated at 7-0 before being cast on the 15th season of The Ultimate Fighter. After winning his fight to get into the tough house, he learned that his father had passed away. Kiesa had to return home to get his affairs in order and then return to the show walking through everyone, including a back and forth battle with the number one overall pick of that season, Justin Lawrence. He would go on to win that season of tough and become a tough top 10 prospect in the UFC's lightweight division. An adapted version of this story would let you do the local circuit small organizations, then go to tough mode. Beat them off. That didn't sound good, did it? <laughs> and then finally proceed into a UFC career mode. You could use the first few local fights as world building to introduce coaches, family, and friends, all these just to breathe humanity into our protagonist. You could then use tough mode as a way to introduce our antagonist or rival along with creating our dynamic with a new head coach or mentor as well as Dana White. Our time in the UFC would connect the previous two chapters into a final explosive conclusion with us facing off against our rival for what else but the inner rim title, baby. I'm just saying, I wrote that outline in less than a minute, so it's doable, right? In summary, I just want to say that I keep hearing that EA Sports UFC 4 is being made for the casual player or fan. What is more fun? than an entertaining, interactive, engaging story mode. EA, less of this and more of this. Look at me. Ooh, yo, man, ha, huh, this stuff fits, it fits. Yo, D, you all right, man? 
All right, that does it for this week. If you guys enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this, drop me a like and of course, drop me a comment below, maybe on what topic, mode, or even just general MMA content you might want to see me release. Of course, hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.